Such a beautiful day today, Clara. As if the streets are paved with heads. It's quite, quite beautiful. Yes, it really is a lovely day. Are you going to sit there for the rest of the day with this solemn expression on your face? You're supposed to be happy. Everything's going to be much better. It seems much the same to me. You know what, Clara? Sometimes I really do not understand you. Oh, yes. Go on. Put on your hat. Join the friends of the minister. Go and complain about me. What is your problem? The problem is that we never talk about our problems. And you never seem to listen. Well, I'm listening now. I would prefer, dear Victor, if you listened before you actually went ahead and did things. When did you find them? So we're leaving this Friday. It seems like you're planning my life for me. First I leave my family in Iceland and I'm moving to America. It is my work, so we really must go. I was going to tell you. When? When we're on the plane? Oh, come on, Victor. Don't you raise your voice at me. This is my work, so you better start packing. Yes? Clara, is it right to come in? Oh, hello, David. Come in. Sure, I thought I was just doing it. It's all right. You're not disturbing. Are you going somewhere nice? I'm moving to America. What? Yes, next week. Didn't Victor tell you? No, should he tell? I don't know. He only told me five minutes ago. I'm so sorry. It's all right. Still, um, America's a big place. Call it a land of dreams, don't they? It's not really in my dreams. I'm tired of this. Clara. I saw Ashley today. Ashley? He was on a bench in his uniform. He had a bandage around his forehead. Are you sure it was him? Sure. It can't be. I have to meet him before I leave. Can you do me a favour? Dear Ashley, I don't know why you decided to disappear from my life. But before I go, I wanted to confess that you are probably the only man I've ever loved. Please try and find him. Tell him to meet me at Pelicci's tonight.
Sorry. Ashley, it's been so long. Why didn't you answer my letters? Please let's sit down. Oh, I am glad to see you. I feared you were lost. No the way. Part of me is. I can't remember anything. What do you mean? I just remember waking up in a French hospital. So you don't remember me at all? I couldn't even remember my name. But somehow this place, this place seems familiar. Peluches. We met for the first time in this cafe, at the same table. You came in and you asked if I was waiting for somebody, and I said I wasn't. And then you told me that I looked sad. And you put your hand over mine, like this. So, you loved me? Yes. Yes, I did. But we were never married. I'm not married to a man I've never loved. Why? I don't know. I thought I could change you. Do you know where I live? Yes, of course. Did you take me there? David. What are you talking about? I know about you and Clara. You're scaring me, I don't understand. Don't lie to me, Jacob. Look, whatever I've done, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah? War has destroyed everything from my past. My memories. My house. It seems like you're the only thing that survived from my past. And you seem to be the only one that can save my future. Do you remember this song? Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Bum, 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 bum. Make him the cutest that I've ever seen. Bum, 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 bum. Give him two lips like roses and clover. Bum, bum, bum. Then tell him that his lonesome nights are over. Sandman, let's go alone. Bum, 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 bum. Don't have nobody to call. Bum, bum, bum. Please turn on your magic beam, Mr. Sandman. Bring me a dream. Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Make him the cutest. Wasn't it snowing when we first kissed? Give him the word that I'm not a Tell him that his lonesome nights are over, Sandman. I'm so alone, don't have nobody to call my own. Please turn on your magic beam. Oh, Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Bum, 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 bum. Mr. Sandman, 